Eden to the Beast for a streak of 13. And we start with the Bag of Crafting. Is that a tier 4 item? Is Bag of Crafting tier 4? I think it is. Can somebody confirm that? Anyway, um, we get Cracked Orb right off the bat. Bag of Crafting is tier 3. Really? Painted Cane Run. Quality 3, really? Okay, I figured this was going to be 4. I'm not sure how much I'm going to be doing with that bag of crafting. You guys know that I hate Tainted Cane with a burning passion. He's truly the last badly designed character that's left in the game. You can't even eat. Nothing. Ooh, a black candle. I want that. Well, I'm definitely not going to be eating money on this floor. That would have been quite sad, having lost immediately when the run starts. I would have found it hilarious considering somebody asked right before the run started if starting with one counted. I really thought Bag of Crafting was tier 4 actually, but it's a good thing we confirmed it beforehand. Wheel of Fortune. Y you know what? You know what? Let's do it. I mean, I have no use for that anyway. I might as well. I don't really care about the Wheel of Fortune card, but I do care about the money. It's very unlikely now that the secret room was empty that we're gonna find 15 cents on this floor, but I wanna go for it still. Because Black Candle is just so valuable. Oh lord. Eh. Tainted Cane isn't difficult. Oh yeah, my objection with Tainted Cane isn't about the difficulty. My objection with Tainted Cane is about the, the fun factor that's basically not not present. Mm. Okay, chat, I'm starting to think that we're not getting uh, not getting that black candle. Well, I can't eat that. I'm pretty hyped about the tears up, honestly, considering we started with very low amount of tears. Curse of the Mozzie. That's okay. Uh, I definitely want to use that on the Tainted Rock. And I definitely want to pick these up too. That's also the problem with the bag of crafting, finding it on any other non- on, on any non-Tainted Cane characters, like everyone else. Like, Cane just naturally gets pickups. Because he can't pick up items. I could have used the bag of crafting to open that, actually. But like, the other characters don't have that luxury. I want to pick up these coins. Because I can actually use them to buy items. I want to get that too, because I want to get into... Okay, Tainted Cane would want that as well, so that's not fair. Not a fair comparison. Watch him get a godlike item from the bag. I mean, it's not impossible, but... I have a card in there, so I have a, a somewhat premium-ish item in the bag. Yeah, I mean, the, the excess stuff in the late game could actually really pop off the run, but I also am not sure if I want to keep this bag of crafting until the ascent. Now that I said that, of course, I'm not going to get a single use item until the end of the run, so <laughs> that's okay. Did the battery count as a normal? I'm pretty sure it counts as something special, namely the battery that it is. Hey, another one. Um... Well, I have two of those in there now, and a... And a card. So obviously something good is gonna come out of it. Right? Guaranteed Godhead. Yeah, 
Also worth noting that now this is not a delirium run anymore. This is the beast, and that means that I'm not on a timer, unlike last run. We've got some time! We've got some time, and we... Okay, look, look. Look, I'm not a fan of the bag of crafting, but there's four things in there already. Three of them are pretty premium, and sprinkler outside of greedier mode really isn't cutting it either. What does that bag do? What doesn't it do? No, I didn't mean to explode that. Oh, crap. That was close. The bag doesn't hurt enemies, no, it just pushes them back. I can't do that, right? No, that's unfortunate because I don't care about that. Um, excuse me? Interesting. I could take both of these and go down to one heart. I mean, those are really good items. I'm, I'm feeling saucy about this. This is a really good combination of items. And I haven't been in the store. Which means I can go there and shop for a soul heart, hopefully. That is most depressing. Yeah, we know where the super secret is too, so that helps. Super Secret is very likely to have a good amount of resources, too. I'm gonna despawn these spiders. I'm gonna be extra careful here. Okay. What do we get? That a long light. The thing actually gave me a preview. Four, five, six. I mean, Daddy long legs is okay. Daddy long legs is very okay. All right, we gotta be super duper careful on this next floor. If I can find a soul heart or two, I'm gonna be in excellent shape. Daddy long legs is certainly gonna make all of this a lot more bearable. Yeah, because in a room like this, I can just sit back and do nothing and he's gonna take him out eventually. And I mean, a part of the reason why I went so low on HP is also because I have flight now, and flight is always super safe. Uh oh. Don't get hit by that guy. Don't get hit by that guy. I want that. Eh, yeah, sure, I'm greedy. Fighter, baby. Hey, that's two Spooter items. One more and we have the legendary spider transformation. Uh, okay, now I want to go back to having keys. <laughs> That's helpful. Virgo is okay. I mean, a holy card is like finding another heart. It's like finding a half heart. Speaking of which. Oh. Okay, hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. We might be about to retire the back of crafting. We might be about to retire the back of crafting, chat. Oh yeah, we're definitely retiring it. He gonna take the blue candle again. I mean... Hmm. I see your point. Well, I'm not gonna open that. You know what? You know what? We're keeping the bag. We're keeping the bag of crafting for the fans. 
I don't know if this is what the fans want, but we're gonna do it. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the bag of crafting for the fans. We never play with that item. We never play with that item. I personally don't like it, but definitely better than the one millionth blue candle run. If you commit to the bag of crafting run, you can always say we already had a bag of crafting run and don't have to do it anymore. That's fair. I like the way you think. Alright, this run has a red stew now. Which means it is now extra good. I mean, look at that damage. Speaking of damage. Speaking of damage. I have half a heart too many. That's a bit sad. Eh, sure. Let's bag the monies. Oh god. Okay, this room is a lot less bad. When you enter it with flight. But look at how long this still takes, despite having flight. The blue flames come from my trinket, yeah. I'm holding Maggie's fate. Oh, that doesn't work. Interesting. Yeah, sure. Was that good? I'm really not sure. All right, there goes the Whore of Babylon, but we're also due another Devil Deal soonish. Um, so we should be able to get that back. Hope you. We're already pretty much at the end of the floor. There's really no reason to pick up that golden key. Might as well bag it. Okay, I have officially entered a, a bagging frenzy chat. I don't like it. I do not like it. But here we are. I don't like... Excuse me. I don't like how the, the item tracker actually gives me a preview of what I'm gonna get. Which is why I'm always just like immediately popping it anyway. But I don't think, unlike Tainted Cane, you can't actually circle through items with this, right? Like I actually have to take whatever it gives me at eight charges. Is that true? bag the pill I, I want to go in there but I know I shouldn't yeah pressing spacebar when it's full just dumps out the new item on tainted cane you have to hold it for an extended period of time to get the item but I guess that's like the main the main difference between playing it on tainted cane and other characters then I would assume I don't know for sure. Also, a rip holy mantle charge. It's done as a great job, let's be real. Ooh, spades. That's one way to actually get keys without picking them up. There should be enough keys for the rest of the run. Stars card. Eh, I can I can always eat that up later. But I think I'd rather use it here. Racer, that's boring. Oh, I love it. What an item. What a find, man. Read? Oh, hey, look at the other candle.
I could have used the eraser once and dropped it. Yeah, but that's just mean. I was waiting for the A plus to show up. I'm not sure I want to take it with me though. Bethany Trinket would be nice for the Ascent too. Yeah, that too, but I also just think the, the other thing straight up doesn't do anything. Probs, I had a stream where I lost my shoes and used the Snickers bar to eliminate where they are. Very interesting. Why are you telling me this? <laughs> Anyone remember the times where the Snickers logo was actually fairly prominent in the stream? Oh wow, okay. I can use that to get my Horror Babylon online if I want to, if there's anything good there. There is nothing good here. Game Kid. Nightlight, yeah, yeah. Nightlight, if I just want to die on the beast fight, I can I can take that with me. Hey! Okay, there's my fool card. Don't bag that. <laughs> I need that. I can actually steal from the boss rush here, that's pretty neat. I mean, I'm down the rabbit hole at this point. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get that Horror Babylon online. Soul of Isaac. All right, hold up. Oh, 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 that's bad. Um, the boy needs a key. I can worry about that after making the boss rush though, I think, is what I should be doing. Because right now I would like to get the boss rush. Bag of crafting and Isaac soul could be a pretty neat combo depending on how many resources I still get on this floor. I think I want to go into the item room though. I want to get that one key, but then afterwards we're going to bag everything and... Well, I want that. Okay, let's get the boss rush steal. And then we're going to see what we do with that ice axel. Okay, booger tears are unfortunately not that great in the mom's foot fight because every single hitbox of hers actually shakes them off. Now daddy long legs on the other hand is pretty neat. Grab that. Rainbow baby. Freezer baby. Lodestone. And Bob's Curse. Well, I think we have a pretty clear winner here. One of the streamers I follow on Twitter always posts pictures of his banana and curry pizza. I personally don't think I could even bite into that, but if you enjoy it. Swedish, right? Yes. Swedish indeed. Gambooth! Oh god. I can use the scam booth to get the Horror Babylon activated. Hey, and that gave me a soul heart too. Oh god. 
Okay, that looked a lot scarier than it ended up being. Can I get more than one resource out of every single one of these chests, please? I'm trying to do a thing here, game. Now I need another key. rock and somehow my tears can't get through there I need a bomb and a key oh I can hide the bag of crafting tip with f3 thank you for telling me that video game the add-on actually told me I just had to read okay well I want that Want to see what the question mark is during the ascent? We're using it here. Hopefully I can get one more item into there. Is there really no way for me to get another resource? One resource? No. Soul of Isaac. Oh wow. Oh, that was good. Fires in the library. I'm pretty sure I took put everything out in the library. I could have used the bombs from Wrath to blow up the scam booth. That's true. That was an oversight, but who cares? Oh! Hey, Nitsim, thank you so much for the prime time. Okay, look, we all know Anima Sola would be the right choice here, but again, we're doing it for the fans. Empress card, we already have Hora Babylon active, so the Empress card doesn't actually stack with that. That's pretty neat, doesn't do anything against the beast, but it's gonna be really handy in the ascent. Magneto. Fanny pack. Mom's coin per. Hey, look, another four thingies to consume. Hey, we're Spooter Baby. Hey, I got two now. Unfortunately, those don't block shots. Pandora's box. It's gonna give me two keys and two bombs. I, I, I guess we can get the two bombs and blow up the Tinned Rock and the Beggar. I didn't mean to pick that up. Blow up the Tinted Rock and the Beggars, see if we somehow get eight resources still. Oh, wow, nice. Worth. Worth. We got a small rock out of the Pandora's box shot. Is that enough? No. Five. Might as well get the bombs. And I'm not picking the coins out of spite. Alright. Sprinkler time. Who the thunk? Who the thunk? Hey, I'm four out of three on mom items now. Oh, that heals you? No, wait, mom's wig heals you. Well, rip whore. The whore is off, chat. I forgot about the mom's wig heal. That's an easy one to forget about. Why does that even heal you? those boogers to work their magic. Hey, look at that. Hey, 
Hey, we got the good attack. We're not getting any boogers though. Well, not many boogers. Wow, that was a really clean pattern. So does this work? Yo! How do you guys know that? Yo, that's actually pretty incredible. <laughs> Strength part, what are you talking about? How did I manage to set them up perfectly synchronized? That's actually pretty incredible. How did I... How did I do that? Jesus. You can't teach that. You really can't. Okay, lure him through the sprinkler as often as possible. And they still place on top. Yeah, I'm more like wondering that they're actually firing in the same direction at the same time. That's the one that I'm wondering about. Oh no, they aren't synchronized actually. The left one is ahead a bit, I think. Are they? I can't tell. Okay, that third one is definitely firing differently from the other two. Oh my god, Sprinkler is actually insane. Dude, Sprinkler is actually nuts. And I'm not even using the butt knife, dude. Oh my god, he's actually hurting himself in confusion. <laughs> okay, that's pretty incredible. And they don't even care about the Kamehameha. Amazing. Amazing. I should have done that sprinklers only. TBH. Entire beast fight just with sprinklers. Darn. Sprinklers tier 4. <laughs> tier 5. Alright, GG. 